my algorithm send node up is string matching with finite automata i like to explain this and uh, okay first string matching with finite automata here what we will do is it's a one of method to string matching and uh, in robin corp what we will do is um, we actually uh, we actually examine each and every uh, every uh, text string with the pattern so we we leave that pattern pa we won't pre process the pattern there so we actually here we will pre process the pattern using finite automata so that um, any any suffix of that can be used uh, which is pre processed in uh, uh, pattern and first thing is string matching with finite automata is very efficient and they examine exactly a uh, order of n time complexity and uh, it actually we want to build a first finite automata where by using the pattern first so that takes some complexity you can call that as a pre processing one and let's see all those algorithms later and next uh, to learn this algorithm we have to first know what is finite automata so i like to explain what is finite automata finite automata has five stages here or five symbols like this and uh, q he has finite set of states in the sense uh, we have it's a state machine we have states and transitions uh, something like i am in one state if i get something and i'll go to other state if i get something from there i'll get to other state something like that so q is set of finite states and q not is an initial state which actually which actually belongs to q total number of sets okay and a is the subset of the q where it is accepting state in the sense it's a final output where i want to accept some string it will going to accept and then uh, that uh, that is represented as a uh, that state is represented as a that is called final state and sigma is input alphabet we have set of input alphabet for example a b c or 1 2 3 something like that if you want some uh, input alphabet and if you go on matching that and if it falls in a then we can tell that that uh, uh, that pattern is going to match there or that's fall in fin uh, final state and this transition transition in the sense i am in one state i'll accept some input symbol and i'll go to other state that's what he written this i am in one state i'll accept input symbol and i'll go to other state one more queue so this is what the main idea of finite automata mm -hmm. and st of state machine and let me go to the next slide it's now we actually we seen what is finite automata now we see with an example okay here is a best example for this which is actually end with an odd number of a so i have i have in i have here two states 0 and 1 one is a here a is what accepting state that's why it is darken and 0 uh, is like q not initial state so i am in 0 if i got a a is odd number so i'll accept it and if i got b b b b and a again a again a three s then accept it's like you know ending with odd number of is it will accept now how to write a transition table transition table is very important with that only i am actually efficiently efficient efficiently using this algorithm so these are all states and these are all inputs uh, states are i have only two states 0 and 1 inputs are i have a and b both so i am in zero state i am getting input symbol a then which state i i will go i am in zero state i'll get a i'll go one i'll go to one state that's what is, this this is mean if i am in state b if i get b then i'll stay zero only so if i am in state one and then i'll get a and as b i'll stay in zero only this is what it mean and now next uh, we will see we will get into the algorithm now and uh, in algorithm main thing you you have to you we have a, some function this uh, function called psi we have Phi we have. This is called finite state function. What it will tell is psi of w. W is some string. Okay. W is some string. What it will do? If I accept that string, then which state I'll go? That's what the main thing is. See, uh, this is psi, and then I'll accept something like you know, this is psi psi of a b. After accepting a b, uh, string. where which state you will go that's what it means after accepting some if for example he is given after accepting nothing i'll be in state q not only see uh, nothing i accepted here so i am in state q not so that's what it mean after accepting some string where you will be it this output is like state okay so 
now after accepting w comma a where you will be in the sense after accepting w and also a next symbol is a now transition it is also gives the output of state which state you are okay now i am in something like i imagine that w is q not i am in q not after accepting a where you will go for example i am in i am in q not after accepting a i'll go to state number 1 that's what it mean okay this symbol you have to be careful because you know this is a very important symbols you will going to use there okay and next and next we have one more function called sigma sigma of x what it will do is it gi it gives the maximum length such that it is prefix of p and suffix of x this is what the main thing it gives maximum length where it is prefix of p and suffix of x this is what they are written that maximum of k and which is uh, suff suffix of x but prefix of that uh, pattern okay now let's see uh, example for that it's given in below slide okay uh, for example we have a pattern called a b a b a b a c a and b a uh, and uh, it is a text and we have a pattern a b a b a c a okay then in this text i want to find that pattern okay to find that pattern first of all i have to construct finite automata and transition table this is what i done uh, transition table and all okay uh, as you guys know uh, how many how many letters in the pattern we have that many plus one state will come here i have 1 2 3 and seven seven letters so eight states will come zero one zero to seven eight states will come and transition uh, right as it is linearly as it accepts and then check for maximum prefix of it prefix of the pattern he already came here so loop it here and then uh, from third state if again a comes go to first state because a already hit here so that's why go to first state main thing is here from 5 to b i am going to fourth state because already i matched four characters here that's why in the sense how many characters you match that state you will go here i matched one character so i'll remain here only here in 3 if a comes i matched only one character that's why i'll go to state v state 1 so you can tell that state number represent the how many characters till now you match that's the main thing you have to remember here Okay, uh, now I'll assume that now I'll constructed all this um, finite automata and then now uh, I will return table also. I already explained how to write this table and remember that 7 is a final state. Okay, now okay, you guys already know what is sigma and what is phi and uh, that's the best thing. And sigma, I told example will come in next slide. So, this is what the example is. Okay, I have pattern like this. It actually returns the length of the character what you match so p naught is epsilon suffix of every string in a sense length is matched zero now sigma c c a c a now only a is suffix of pat suffix of this string and then prefix of uh, no prefix of the pattern and suffix of the string so only a is matched that's why length is only one and now a b is matched with this a b so length is 2 so that's why it actually returns the length you can also tell it is equal to the state number because state number 1 means i matched with one character state number 2 means i matched with two characters okay that's what he written pattern should be you know mm, suffix of that uh, text uh, what you scan that and uh, this is it we will we will go to next slide and this transition is same as that i am in state q and i got a then same thing like that i am in i match it with pattern q p q in the sense q p q is the state where i till now match it how many characters are matched same thing here and here and i, I got a and both will result into the same state next state both of the output is like uh, you know next state only if i am get two here then this is the next state will be 2 only and uh, here after I am in 2 after a where I will go I am in 2 and after a where I will go like this both will result in a same same uh, same state and uh, now let us see the algorithm how we will match I want text I want transition table what I constructed before and I want 
pattern which I want to find. Now find the length of the text. Okay, that is stored in n and take a q1 variable and set it to 0 and i1 to n travel throughout the text okay and now i i want pattern should be match now what i'll do i'm in state initially i'm in state q naught right zero zero state two for example my pat my text is something like a b something like that so from zero after accepting some character where i'll go that's what it means okay if if i re if i reach it state m like this after some character where I'll go after some character where I'll go after some, like thing like this okay, if I reach it state M means it is 7 in the sense number of characters so M means 7 so if I got that length of the pattern then you can tell that its a pattern is found in that text so the you want to find the shift so I minus M is the shift because you you want to shift I minus M from where uh, the pattern starts patching that's what this algorithm says and the next main thing is here you are you are taking the transition table that one you have to construct now now uh, transition table how to construct a transition table this is one more algorithm and the uh, this algorithm says take a pattern okay and take input symbol because in transition table we have a uh, states and input symbol so that's what it uh, taking okay i have pattern and the input symbols okay pattern is tells the number of states so that's what here m is p dot length and q is i'll set to 0 to m okay and 0 to m in the sense 0 to m number of states here here i have 6 so that's why 0 to no here i have 7 that's why 0 to 7 same thing like that uh, say, same as it is 0 to m total length okay 0 to m and for each input symbol 0 to m and for each input symbol I want to construct this table I want to fill these values here okay uh, now what you will do for each character how I am going to fill this value see here k is equal to minimum of m plus 1 q plus 2 that is m is assume that it's 7 then 8 comma q is 0 and comma 2 which is minimum 2 is minimum so k is replaced by 2 now k is reduced to k minus 1 ok k minus 1 is uh, 1 because uh, now k is 2 to 2 minus 1 is 1 and p of k is for example you assume that p of k is a you got a ok and then in in pattern also you got a then it matches it matches so transition of from q to a is to state number one okay that's what you written there so match everything like that and fill this table completely and using this table uh, go, go to go and find the uh, shifts which actually ma uh, matches the pattern there and this is all whole idea of algorithm actually it returns the transition table finally and uh, that is used used in this algorithm and you will find uh, the shifts number of shifts that's it thank you any questions no questions